Hello, my friends. How are you doing? Today, I'm going to show you how to create beautiful, dreamy light in your photos. My name is Olivio. I'm a professional designer sharing my industry secrets with you. So maybe subscribe to my YouTube channel for free. Also, this time I want to ask you, would you ever use Adobe Photoshop again if they started to sell it again? Write your answers in the comments and don't forget about my live stream tomorrow, 14th February 21, 8 p.m. CET, where I'm going to do a live composition and also review your beautiful works from the weekly challenge. Let's get started with the tutorial. So let's delete this here. You can see this is the original image not as glowy, not as dreamy. So the first thing that I'm going to do is to duplicate my original image. So right click on that layer, duplicate up here, and I will rename this to dreamy light like so. Okay. And I will use this and apply a live filter to it. So you see down here, live filter for Gaussian blur like so. You have to tick the box here for preserve alpha. That's very important. And then give it a little bit of a blur. Let's go here to eight, maybe nine. Ah, this looks good. Okay, so this is now blurry. And to make this a nice dreamy light, we want to switch the blend mode of our picture layer, of the dreamy light picture layer over to screen, like so. As you can see here, already pretty cool, pretty interesting light little bit on the bright side. So what we're going to do here is to put an adjustment for levels. You can see down here we have our adjustment layers. Click on that and then select levels. And you want to put the levels layer in between your dreamy light layer and the background layer. So click and drag this down here. Don't attach it to anything. It has to be free from the other pictures, but sitting in between. Okay, cool. So with this, I can make my darker areas darker, not too much though, just a little bit like so. And then also use the gamma to push this over a little bit. And you can now see that my picture is getting darker again in the areas where it matters while it's staying nice and bright in the other area. So you can play around with that. And what you can also do, if everything is still a little bit strong, you can go back to your dreamy light layer and simply reduce the opacity a little bit. Let's go here with 95%, just a touch, just a little bit. Okay, another thing that I want to do here is to have more focus on my model. So I will create a little bit of dreamy uh, blurriness on the rest of the scene, right? So what we want to do here is to create a live filter again, this time for depth of field, like so. And you can see here that this has attached to our dreamy light layer. That's not what we want. We want it to sit on the rest of the picture. So you click and drag this out like so. As you can see now, it sits on top of the other layers not being attached to anything else. Okay, here's the important part. We have these blue handles and what you want to do is to put the middle blue handle over your model like so. Then zoom out of your image and drag these outer points around the image so everything is covered like so. And I want to have this a little bit as an ellipse because now I'm going to use the inner points. Those can't be used individually. As you can see, they both do the same thing on both sides and pull this around my model like so. So that's pretty cool. And now what I can do here is I can, again, click on Preserve Alpha, pretty important. I can use my radius to introduce some blurriness. You can see here, if you look at the pillow, this is now becoming more blurred. Again, you don't have to do that, but it's an interesting effect that you can do. I can introduce some vibrance here like so. I can also introduce some clarity. You can see now I have more of a clear area here. And this also highlights my model a little bit more because as you can see here, now these outer areas are a little bit blurred while the inner areas are sharper and have more clarity. Okay, let's employ some extra tricks here. The next one I want to show you is the light disc. I love the light disc trick. You go over here to ellipse and pull out an ellipse like so. And we're going to set this to 
this color that we find here in the background. So you want to go here to this brighter part of the image. So we have ambient light. We can actually source it from here and then click on that. So this is now the color that we have inside of our ellipse, as you can see. And I want to set this now in my layer effect. So you can see here layers and then next to it we have the tab for effects. I click to turn on Gaussian blur and I will set this to a value of let's say 600. So it's really blurred. Let's maybe try 450 and see what we get from that. That looks good. Okay, perfect. So what we're going to do with that is to push this over here in that area, make it maybe a little bit bright, uh, bigger and then just push this over here. So we have some nice sunlight coming from this area. And you can see if I go back to my layers and turn this on and off, it's just a little bit more of this cute dreamy light coming in from the window, right? Another thing that we can do here is I can, while holding control, I click and drag my ellipse. So this is making a copy. And I can, for example, also put it over here on that side. Let's make this a little bit bigger like so, and then reduce the opacity like so. We're not gonna even use a blend mode for this. It's just the color because we sourced the color of the ambient light. Let's push this up here. And so now we have a little bit of light coming from that side too. This is something you can do. You don't have to do that, right? It's just like uh, being a little bit playful with your image. Let's reduce this effect even more just introduce a little bit of brightness from over here like so that's good okay um here's another thing that i want to do and that is to again use an ellipse but this time i'm going to set it to a darker gray so let's go here to color set this one to grayness this pop down menu and then go here and pull this down to let's say 40 okay that's good Again, effects over here, effects, Gaussian blur. Let's pull this up. Mm, that looks, let's go with 100 here. All right, I wanna put this over my model. Let's use the move tool. So I'm going to put this over my model and the way I'm using this is I'm going to set the blend mode now to soft light like so. And you can see that this is going to make that area just a little bit darker. It's like dodge and burn basically what's happening here, but it's just around the model. So you can see that we have a little bit more darkness around her. So we have a little bit more uh, centered light around her. And of course you can, because all of these techniques are non-destructive, always, always go back and readjust them. Really beautiful, completely non-destructive. Thank you very much for watching. That was the tutorial for today.